Welcome in. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Let me see who's in chat. One second. Um hey cool gamer. Hey Pam. Hey Jill, how are you doing, lovely? I hope everyone's having a good day. I'm coming on tonight because I won't be on tomorrow because I gotta go and see the doctor and whatnot. Um, so yeah. Tomorrow I'm gonna skip I'm gonna skip Tuesday and I'll possibly be on the following day. Um Let's see how things go, you know. Um, yeah, cool game. I hope you're good. I'm good, Jill. How are you doing, honey? Hey, psychosocial, welcome in. Okay, the rules tonight is anyone uh, who is not proper members of this channel, mind giving all my moderators right now to block them 
anyone with negative shit, block them. So we're doing a blocking thing, which is not going to be hard to do. You know, a few people spouted off the mouth last night, but, you know, you get that, don't you? Hey, Jules, how are you doing, lovely? Um, so, yeah. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, you know, we're just going to stay on fair for about maybe an hour, two hours at the most. Um, because I ain't going to come on tomorrow because I got to go and see the doctors. I got to go and do all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Yep, yeah, you're having a blocking party tonight, guys. Anyone comes in, block them. If they're not, they're being rude, disrespectful, just block them. We're kind of going back to the old rules once again. Block, block, block. Yeah, it's going to be a blocking party if anyone comes in here. Now, I don't want you to be too wrench happy, but, yeah, we did have a lot of people in here last night. And um, I did say, yeah, let them, let them. I told, I told my moderator to lay off and mm, kind of a stupid thing to do, really. Yeah, we get to use a wrench, and all you do is hit on their name, and it will use the word hide or something, or, you know, just get rid of them. I'm not in the mood for their bullshit. I really am not. Yeah, and, you know, it's just one thing after another. I mean, you have a, I would not say a fun night last night. I would say, yeah, people kind of got out of control, so we're going to go back to our usual way of doing things on this channel. Uh, hey, Susan, Purple isn't uh, too far from getting um, her car. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, she got that amount of money. Oh, re oh, that's awesome. I'm so happy for her. I really am. I hope she gets it. I really do. Look, I'm always a will wish her. Will wish her. I always like to see people doing well. And that's always been my the way I am. You know, I'm so glad she's going to... She's not far off of getting to her goal, so to speak. That's great news. Um, Pam, that is absolutely great news. Um, you know, it's great that people can donate like that, you know, if they have it, obviously. You know, and it's just, I, I think it's great. Now, if Frank comes in here, um, I want him blocked too. I ain't putting up his crap no more. I've already blocked from my streamers last night, so I can't get a link. So, there you have that, okay? <laughs> you know. So, yeah. I did ask um, AB to come in here because he is under a new account, which was... It's not a total account, by the way. It is the real AB. Um, I didn't get a chance to uh, sort it out yesterday. So, hopefully he will come in, and um, I will give him a, a wrench... Because I don't want people blocking him, you know. I just don't. So, Jill was showing off her fantastic Irish t-shirt last night, which was absolutely fantastic. Um, mm. I want, to, I want to say something, but I don't want to say it, so I'm not going to. Hey, uh, lovely Jubbly, how are you doing, my lovely? Good evening, Susan. I had a really uh, good laugh last night, especially at Jill, right? <laughs> I know, right? Jill, Jill was funny. <laughs> yeah, she was funny. I tell the, I mean, the serious, I mean, idiots came in here, which, okay, I did say, okay, come in, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, that front door's not opened anymore. I mean, we're going back to our usual way that we are here. So they're not welcome one bit at all. So they can, um, yeah. If you try coming in, um, just, I'll probably see them before you see them. So I'll just you know, call them out and get rid of them. Or I'll probably do it myself, you know. Either way it works, it, it will work that way. As me saying that on my son panel, they probably won't come in now, which is all right with me. We had a lot of fun. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Until people took it to another level, let me tell you. You know, people are... <laughs> it will always come in. Uh, 
and when I go sleep, <laughs> um, I, yeah, they do, they do come in, trust me. I could name out a few, but I'm not going to because I'm not giving them that credence. I'm not going to, you know, say what I think about some people. Hmm. It's very hard to keep my mouth shut, but I got to, you know, at that stage, it's the stage in life. So, yeah. If anyone sees the likes of bubblegum, just block the bitch. I don't want her in there. I think he all blocked him at the end anyway, because I told him to go wrench happy at that point. You know? Yeah. Um. One second. Right, I'm just gotta sort something out there. Um, there you go. Uh, Camilla, uh, hold on. Royal family situation. Camilla is now uh refraining from her, her from duties now. Uh, make uh, me wonder what's going on with the royal oh, family. Well, I'll tell you what's going on with the royal family. We know that Prince Charles has cancer. Okay. The news have downscaled it like they normally do here in the UK. I mean, you never get the goddamn truth when it comes to the right family. One second, I just check that one out. Um, right, okay. But, um, back to the right family. Oh, fuck's sake. One second. Okay, that's okay. Everything's fine. Um, yeah, no, it is. It's going on with the right family right now. There, I mean, Charles has, I would say, severe cancer. Let's be real about that. The news are not. The, the news are downscaling it. They always do here in the UK. I mean, look what happened with the Queen. She brought in the new Prime Minister, and she died three days later. I think two, three days later. No one knew that, who I mean, because that's the way the royal family are. But um so Camilla's stepping back and she's getting ready for Kate Middleton, Kate Catherine. She likes to be called Catherine nowadays, actually. She doesn't like to be called Kate anymore. So she like <laughs> she likes to be called Catherine, so yeah. But um we'll bring it here first. We normally do. Don't mind to bring any of that here. Um, the right family situation. I mean, we will bring it here first. What's going on with them? I'll keep an eye out from to be quite honest. I know there's a lot going on behind the scenes. The Bank of England have knows uh what with what Vinky is on, on display already. I didn't get any of them notes yet. Interesting. See, they're getting ready to change the notes now. Isn't that amazing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think what's going to happen... Oh, Charles is on it? Huh. But that's a waste of um, print, don't you think? I mean, it costs billions of pounds just to change the money, but never mind that if the king is dying, like, you know, I thought they would have waited, you know what I mean? But anyway, let's see if that does come out. I mean, I didn't get any notes like that yet. Be interesting to see what happens. Not on display, only uh, only mind. Not on display, only mind. I don't know. One second, guys. I need to sneeze. Um. 
uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what goes on with the royal family. I do have a fair idea what's going to go on with them anyways. Yes, it's on display. Okay, uh, and Charles is in the picture now. And that's a waste of UK money, taxpayers' money, to be honest. It's not in, it's not in circulation. Didn't think so, because the notes I have right now has the Queen on them. So, yeah. Like I say, I don't really use notes too much, but because I use plastic. But now and again, I will take out notes for various bills or whatnot, you know what I mean? And, yeah, I have some notes here, and it's all the Queen on them still. Yeah, the Bank of England, yeah. Jill was up her shaking her booty last night, uh, boobies last night, but her Irish T-shirt on, you know, and um, I think it's fantastic, you know, people can come up and feel relaxed and do whatever, apart from, well, I think I made one mistake by calling in the trolls, which, no, it's not a thing I know, but anyways, if they come in tonight, just feel free to uh, use your wrenches and just knock them out. Now, there's going to be any, um, there's going to be a different, any balance or in a, a um, unleashed coming in in a few minutes. Do not block this person. That is a real account. So, what I'm going to do with that one is I'm going to mop that one up. Um, I was really shocked that someone had blocked, um, Michael Vaughn's mom, <clears throat> I found her, I was like, like I said, I was going through my blog list last night, and I found her in there, and I was like, what the hell, it, I, I think it would have been an accident, because sometimes when a chat is going so quick, things go really fast, okay, here we go, uh, just give me a minute, uh, I'm just going to sort this uh, young man out, one minute, I'm going to go quiet for a bit because you're only going to get an echo. Okay, uh, there you go. Yeah, there's only six likes on the channel, guys. Come on, get us up there on the channel. The uh, make sure you hit the like button. Hey, Dolly, you okay? How are you doing, sweetheart? How are you doing, honey? That is the real AB, just so you know that I've uh, verified that so. Yeah, I probably should have modded it last night, but things went so crazy on this channel last night, I didn't get around to it. So I did ask him to come in and um, just drop his thing. Uh, any of my moderators there, can you uh, pick up the A balance unleashed and drop his um, his link in chat? Because people can, uh, I'd, have, I'd, I'd urge people to mod up, sub, sub up to that one. Because I think he'll be using that one for a little bit. Psychosocial, can you drop A Balance as a link? A, a Balance Unleashed, more or less, would be the word. Just so if anyone wants to sub up to him, you're more than welcome to do so. I mean, because he's doing another. Second backup channel, that's his backup channel, so to speak. One, well, one of his backup channels. Um, yeah, I don't know if you all seen uh, Precious Chaos's um stuff she put up on me. Well. I look at this two ways, right? 
their setup is never in the Irish Defence Forces. But yet again, they show me being in the Irish Defence Forces. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, I'd be very careful about putting people's faces out there because YouTube has gotten really strict right now. And that can, that's, like, that's my image and that's my face. So I don't think that uh, YouTube uh, likes, uh, we would say, mm, let me find a YouTube term for that. BBs, you know what I mean? Weapons, whatever. And there is a weapon in my hand. And uh, they've used my image to slag me off. Why they do such stupid things, I never know. But it kind of goes both ways in a weird way, you know that? Because I said I was never in the, the Irish Defence Force to start with, which I know different. Of course I know different, right? But then they go and show me on St. Patrick's Day, um, in a, in a, what you call it, in one of the um, army trucks. Now, I haven't, I wasn't the only person in there, but, of course, I was the one from whatever angle that footage was taken, it was just shown on me. Um, so, yeah, I'd be very careful about showing uh, images like that on YouTube, because I do believe there's copyright strikes behind that, because that's my image, that is me. And the funny thing is that, hell, I don't look that bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm fit. Don't look that bad. So do I take offense to that? Does it bother me? And no. I will not leave anything on YouTube bother me. I'm just going to say it out right now. So, yeah. I'd be very careful about putting people's images on your channel because it's very strikeable. I'm very strikeable. And the reason why I was in the, the truck that day is because I was asked to go in the truck. By the army, I was asked to go in the truck. You know, they put like, I think four of us in there. There was one behind me. And then, uh, I mean, I was at the front and there was one by me. And of course, whatever way the, the camera was angled, you could only have, you could just see me. You couldn't see the other two male soldiers at the other side of that particular truck. Uh, did I fall and hurt myself? Hell no, I did not. I was asked to go in it. So that, I mean, if you're told to do something in the military, you're going to do it. So, and I thought, yeah, okay, I don't need to marry, so hell. So, yeah, we have that. Um, don't bother me at all. But don't be surprised if you hit Get a couple of copyrights on that one, um, because that is my my face. That is me. Um, so yeah, I mean, they're not bad. They're not bad. I mean, they look bad. Hey, uh, no, no, I'm probably gonna fucking say your name wrong. Um, E L O D I E Nelson, welcome in. You know, if I can't pronounce your name because it's a bit weird to me, I'm just going to spell them out. So, yeah. Um, pretty cam chat tonight. Pretty nice. Um, we're going to keep it that way. Keep it. We're going to tighten up and try and keep as many trolls as we can out. Pretty sure most of them all got blocked last night anyway, so that's that. Um, yeah. Imagine that. Imagine that. And I was only talking about St. Patrick's Day, and then it's not... Mm, don't get me going there. Someone who has an infamy decided to put out um, um my military stuff. So, okay. Whatever. Doesn't bother me in the least, trust me. See, when you're in the military, um, you're ordered to do certain things. Hold on. You're ordered to do certain things. And when that happens, you got to do it. Regardless, no matter, no matter what you think. What the 
fuck is going on? Oh no. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna turn that off for a minute. Um, I saw that when I went and saw it out there. Hey, Susan. How you doing, lovely? Howdy, Susan. How long were you in the uh, military for? What am I? Um, the Reserve Irish Defence Forces, and I do believe I was in there nine years. Yeah. People put it out there. It's out there. <laughs> it is out there. Yeah. And I, had, I looked at it and I thought, oh, well, that's a throwback, you know. But it is very much strikeable. You know, when you put someone's image out there, you can strike on that. Uh, so, yeah. When I'm ordered to get on a truck and do something for St. Patrick's Day, I cannot say, no, I have to do it. That's the army. When you're ordered to do something, that's what they do. It only proves that you were in the military. Yeah, Dolly, that's the bright side of looking at things lovely. It, it does. You can see the weapon in all of my hands. Your life has changed so much since then. Yeah, it has changed. <laughs> Trust me, it has. They were, I would consider, my good days. You know what I mean? Um, when I was very active, very, you know, doing lots of things. I mean, I mean, to say the Reserve Irish Defence Forces is part-time. That's written on the contract, but mind you. But no, they never, we never did really part-time. We were doing quite a lot in there. You know, they say part-time and they say... Well, this is the kind of way the language they use, right? Well, you can volunteer to do it, but you don't need to volunteer to do it. But you're going to, you have to volunteer. You have got to do it. This is the kind of language they use, okay? Let's get that real. Mm. When I joined that, that's when I got my first new car, to be honest. Brand new. Brand new. Yep. Yeah, young Afira, we used to be working in the gym seven days a week, 100%. So that just proves my point. <laughs> and next I'll put out my discharge papers. And I know what's going to say on that. It's going to say leaving at her own request. Um, yeah, so that's no big given. What the leaving on their own her request is because I moved to the UK in the year 2011, that's where that came from. So what they're putting out there, even though they think they're having a laugh at me, well, the laugh is on you, actually. You're just proving what I said. I said I was in the Irish Defence Forces for a very long time. So if you Google it, there's no such thing as the Boy Scouts in Ireland. There is no such thing. There is none. You have the RDF and the... Uh, the, you have the RDF, and then you have the other one. You know, you have the other one. The, um, me get, I'm getting tongue-tied now. I'm trying to remember back. <laughs> you have the RDF, and uh, RDF is Reserve Defense Forces. Then you have the the, the permanent P, 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 um, permanent defense forces. There you go. RDF, RDF is not the Defence Forces. Yeah, I beg to differ on that one. Can someone please take off that account because I ain't playing today. It's called the RDF, the Irish Defence Force, uh, Irish Reserve Defence Force is. So you're coming, you're saying the RDA. There's no such thing as RDA in Ireland. None. What the fuck are you even talking about? Uh, just someone blocked that more, and I don't want to. And I don't want to do. I'm not doing this shit. I'm really not. I heard in the uh, military, you dropped the. Uh, Drop the uh, sh shoulder so you can't sleep right. 
by the way it does not cost it to do it. People should have fucking respect. I mean, uh, E-S-I-T, you, you can fuck off, okay? I'm not playing today, I'm really not, so you bite you. You, f- you flying fuck. Go look up the fucking YouTube. Go and look up. Go look up Google. Go go do your research. That's all I said to anyone. Go do the research. There is... <laughs> People are so fucking stupid, it's unbelievable. They are the stupid ones. They say you were not in the military, but it just shows a picture proving it. Right, Jill? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, fucking idiot, right? They will probably put out my uh, discharge papers next. Maybe that. I don't know. And I don't, I don't think they can get a hold of them, to be honest, because... They're, they're, you know, I don't, it's not something you can just Google up and get a hold of someone's discharge papers. That's not possible. Um, but they can say what they want about me. I don't care. I really don't. And for the morons came in here last night saying, oh, you see what someone, such a channel put up on you. Or they, they, they put up your army stuff. Well, so what? I've been in the military for a long time. And actually, it's not bad footage. It's not, to be quite honest, it is not bad footage. So I appreciate that. Thank you very much. You just um, proved my point. Yeah, please, guys, hit give us up the, the likes if you can. Um, people need to um, calm, calm down a little bit. Um, they really need to kind of get a life in a weird way, you know. You know, I did not uh, serve uh, as a full-time uh, military person. And I'll tell you the reasons why I didn't. is because I had a daughter, okay. So I did part-time. But part-time, even though it was part-time on contract, we did a lot of, a lot of stuff every day up in the military. We did a lot, quite a lot. Um, and I was glad I only did the part-time contract because it felt like, uh, you know, it was, it was, it was one of, it was just, um, every day I was getting phone calls, uh, you gotta be up in the barrack, you, you know, I got, every goddamn day, it was unbelievable. I mean, it was literally gone to the point where you, you were in a total full-time job, even though your contract <laughs> states that you're only part-time, but you were only really weren't part-time at all. You know, and um, it was the full-time soldiers who trained us up, so to speak. You know, so, yeah. So, if people want to come in with stupid bullshit, you can fuck off right now because I ain't having it. Right, well, I might have left some people in there last night, but you ain't coming in tonight. I ain't playing your games. Mm, yes, yeah, no one's business. I think, but you know, it's it's out there, Dolly. People put it up. Yeah, if I wanted to put it out there, I would have. But you know, other people uh, uh, think that is their their thing to do. So. I do believe that's my image and that's me uh, in them videos they put up of the, me in the military. And that is going to be striking, Conan. There's like three videos, three strikes and you're out. But you can't uh, strike all in the one day. you got to take a little period and strike and then strike. Yeah, I will be doing that. That's my image at the end of the day. It's my face. It's me. So, yeah. But they use uh, what they say against you. They always do, Dolly. They always do. You know, it, it's um, you're damned if you're doing, you're damned if you don't. You know what I mean? That is a God's honest truth. You are damned if you're doing, you're damned if you don't. 
I, I don't know. Um, lovely. Jo Mag I got a lovely job, anyway. I don't know, but yeah, they're making me in a bit. Um, it's probably early over. <clears throat> Sorry. It's probably early over in the US, so I did come on a bit early because I do have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, so I probably won't be on tomorrow because I'll be doing a little bit of a run around, so to speak. Um, so I decided to come on tonight and check with all you good folks. You know, people um, can say what they like. I mean, they did not, they don't know nothing about, I mean, what, what they may think they know about me, they don't know nothing at all, actually, because I don't say too much. It's 2.30 in, uh, what, Missouri? <coughs> In the afternoon. Mm. Oh, 3.30 three in Florida. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. <laughs> yeah, we're late. We're, we're a bit on on the time here in the UK. Um, you know, you think that I, I get talks a lot and all that, but there's a, a lovely young girl in here called Kate. Uh, and the things um, one UK channel are doing on her is far worse than what's been ever done to me. It's absolutely horrendous. They have not walked in your shoes. shoes. No, they have not. Mm -mm. It only validates what I say. You know, you cannot erase your, your past. You know what I mean? You're going to find footage out there and you're gonna and it, it just validates what i say so i would uh, i want just want to give a shout out thank you for validating for what i I'm, i do say i don't see those channels thank god yeah i know a lot of you don't want to be um involved in these crazy ass people but you know and of course i ain't going to mention the channel where you can go and find it because it's out there. Oh, Susan's in uh, Florida also. Awesome. <coughs> That's awesome. Um, God, I'd love to live in Florida, to be honest. Well, yeah, I wouldn't want since because of the weather, but other than that, I mean... No, I do. I do kind of like the UK. UK has never done anything wrong to me, so there. Alligator country, hell! If I say an alligator, I will literally. Mm -mm. But no, me, I'm like a little bit of a brave heart. I mean, I don't see danger, you know, that kind of way, which is not a good thing. We had a lot of, uh, what, uh, treatment today also. He will probably be in a battery. Oh, Jill, I'm sorry, lovely. Yeah. Right, one of us need to change our damn names here because we have two Susans up here right now. I mean, and, and you know what? The initials are the same too because it's SB and SB. Um, yeah. I'm thinking, well, what the hell? You just uh, show, you can shut my name down to Sue if you want. If you're talking to me, so I so I don't get confused. Yeah, lots of prayers for Jill's family. Her uh, brother's going to severe, going through a hell of a lot of um, chemotherapy and radiation and all that stuff. Mm. 
No, I wouldn't say she was a Q, uh, Jill. That was just something Jerry made up for a joke. <laughs> yeah, just call me Sue as she be. If my Susan's in the house, the other Susan, because you can, we can't even say Susan B because both of us have the Susan B in them. Sue SB, we can't even use that. Yeah, everyone put prayers in the chat for Jill's um, brother. Right, Susan. <laughs> you, you're Susan B too, and so I'm, I'm the same. So even when I'm in a B chat, I get I can be confused. I'm like, I mean, is that for me? <laughs> but I mean, a lot of people would say Susan Bennett, so that kind of helps a little bit, you know. When I know when people are actually talking to me, and I know people talk to you in there as well, so it's a yeah, it's a bit odd. I just do SUE for me. I mean, I don't mind. Lots of prayers for Jill's brother. He's after having another round of chemo. Is that right, Jill? One second, guys. Uh, two more after today. Oh, okay, Jill. Jill, do you want to come up? Jill, you can come up. It's much easier to explain what's going on when you're on panel than typing it. You're welcome to come up if you want. Just let me know. One second, I'll drop your link, Jill. One minute. Life is never short without you, Jill, Brian. You hope Miss Heidi and Miss Ray very well. I'm pretty sure they are. Can you find your camera off your camera, Jen? Mm. One second. There you go, Jen. How are you doing, little sweetheart? Can you hear me? Hello, honey. How are you doing? Oh, watching you and doing my diamond art. <laughs> you were talking yeah. about your, your brother. Sure. He's still there? Am I still there? Yeah. No okay. way. Um, yeah, he had a treatment today. Mm -hmm. And he has two left. That'll be six in total. Um, he's already had radiation. Then oh. I guess when... After all the chemo treatments, I don't know how long they wait. Mm -hmm. He'll have a PET scan to see if it's worked. So. 
So when mm-hmm. you get the uh, CAT scan results back? Hey, um, he, he didn't, he doesn't have a CAT scan. Um, he, has, he has his chemo today, then he um, has two more chemo treatments. Mm-hmm. And then eventually, I don't know how long, he'll have a PET scan, which is yeah. to detect the cancer. Right. Um, then I don't know when that'll be. It's just, it's after all his chemo treatments sometimes. Right. Yeah. Well, I'll just I keep telling him we miss him well. Yes, I do. Every time, every time you guys stay, stay it and put prayers in for him, I tell him. It boosts his spirits. He he's just amazed that people from all over are praying for him. Yeah, I always tell him. I always yeah, tell keep him. telling him that. I mean, all, all over the world, it yeah. this channel goes out to it. It goes to Australia, to all all different places. You try and everywhere. Place. He's just like, oh my god, I can't believe people from all over there are praying for me. And I said, yes, they are. Yep. Yes. UK, different countries, yeah. America, obviously, um, yeah. Australia. I, I can name up just to, you know, because I know what I I know where my audience is, you know, because you check it on uh, inside the uh, YouTube studio, and uh, there's a lot of people from mm-hmm. all over the world. Yes, and all, even all over the United States is amazing, but across mm-hmm. the pond and everywhere, and he's like, I just can't believe it. And yeah, can, say, Canada be another one. Canada. Yeah, yeah Canada. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I told him. And he's just he's he just can't believe it. And I said, Yeah. Europe. Yep, exactly. Yeah. yeah, he's just in awe that people from so far away are praying for him. And I said, You see, you got this. You got this. all over America, Canada, Europe, you know, it's all over the place. Yes. Yeah. Which and is amazing. Praying for him. It is amazing. Yeah. Because I truly, truly believe in the power of prayer. Oh, God, yeah. He yeah. needs at this point, you know. Yes. And you got to yes, keep your amazing. spirits up as well. I, I do. It, it's hard, though, when he is feeling so bad and gets depressed because it comes with it. The depression comes right. with it with yeah. the being so sick yeah. and I try everything I can to boost his spirits and stuff like that and then I get off the phone and then here I go again now I'm gonna start crying and then I start crying and you know you get down and you know I don't want to cry in front of him and I just no. cry to myself and and it's hard it's very very hard but I won't let him see me cry I'm yeah try to say strong yeah, um, I Hedris, stay strong for him. Hedris Hedris Hedris. In here, she said, even people from other planets are listening to California. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, another planet. Yeah, in California on the East Coast. <laughs> Over I don't in know what the... And the mediums. Uh... Hold on, can I read your message proper? Mediums that... Uh... Call uh, prayer. Over uh, in the UK, us uh, mediums call prayer a thought, and it's a powerful thought we send you. Thank you, Colin. Yeah. And Thank it does, you so much, much. Colin. Wow. Uh, Colin, where's Sierra? <laughs> I know she's your best friend. And I'm serious, Sierra. Oh, no. Remember, they're dating. People's every, everybody's seeing no, the boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> I know it's not. Let me tell you, that's not true. Sierra used the name Mace, right? That's a very UK um, slang term word. Hi, Mace. How are you doing, Mace? Mace. Doesn't yeah. mean to say that you're in, in with them, you know? Doesn't mean to say anything like that. And when Sierra said to me last night, I said, yeah, everyone uses that over here, you know? Re- but I mean, I don't because I'm don't. I wasn't born in this country, so to speak. But um, yeah, I mean, you get a lot of people saying, "Hey, Susan. Hey, mate. How are you doing?" It doesn't yeah. mean anything. It's just a word. It's a very much UK word. That's all. There's our lovely Ray Ray. How are you doing, sweetheart? 
Hi, Ray Ray. How are you, love? Yeah, so, um, yeah, people are jerk offs. Yeah, see, they don't understand the terminology. I mean, where's that? <laughs> people in the UK, we, we know that. We know what it means. Mm -hmm. I guess um, in America, they don't get it. You know what I mean? It's not a terminology they would use. And then it's not a bad thing, you know? But no, you gotta it's, it's that. friend. It means friend. Yeah, exactly. I mean, hi, mate. How are you doing? You know, that kind of way, right? Yeah. Yeah, it just means friend. It means the same thing to me. <laughs> People call me mate all the time. I'm like, mm, yeah, okay, whatever. In the U.S., we refer to mate. Uh, we usually uh, mean a boyfriend, girlfriend, or uh, husband or wife. Yeah, okay. In the U.K., um, <laughs> Heather, let me tell you, the mate, mate word, hi, mate, that doesn't mean you're um, in a relationship. It doesn't mean nothing. It's actually quite the opposite, because if you're in a relationship, they're going to call you darling or some word like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, they, my darling. Yeah, they don't use, you know, I know. Now they always say my partner. I, I know because I've been I live here. But see, people kind of get confused because I don't use them that terminology. I just I just don't. Um, It's a very UK um word to yeah. use. I've heard it millions of times, believe me. Hi, Ray Ray. So, no, that's, I mean, people um, lay off Or significant other, yeah. 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 Well, see, in different countries, there's different terminologies for different words, and um, it doesn't mean that. It genuinely does not. When she, when she said to me last night, I was like, and no, that's not what that means. <laughs> that means you're good friends, so to speak. Now, um, because in Ireland, we don't use the word mate at all. We don't use that in our, we say friend or, well, how are you doing? Well, how is it, how is it going? So it's, we, use, we kind of say, well, how is it going? Yeah, how's it going, bro? And and here they always say, bro, I can't stand We don't say bro even. We just say, how is it going? <laughs> you know, we just, you know, in Ireland, I mean, it's, uh, once again, it's totally different. Um, yeah. But no, I because I've been living in the UK, you know, how many people call me mate? Now I'm like, I look at them and say, mm, yeah, you're not my mate. You're not my friend. And I knew it's not like a mate. I mean, yeah, you're not my friend. You know that kind of way? Yeah. Because I've grown up with it. I know it. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah. They didn't want to lay off us a year on that one. I totally understand what she. And I love the way she says it. Hey, Colin. Hey, mate. You know? Yeah. <laughs> doesn't mean anything at all. That means uh, they're good friends. Yeah. That's what I would take that. Pick that one up wrong. I, I would just take it as their friend. Sometimes we say Pat. Because yeah. he's from the UK. Yeah. I Colin says sometimes they say pal. Well, hey, hey, pal. How are you doing? But a lot of, uh, especially Londoners, they are uh, around, you know, well, I'm not taking away from Connor or anything, but a lot of Londoners use the word mate because you know how many times I've been called, when I lived in London, hey, mate, how are you doing? I'm like looking at them thinking, who the hell are you? <laughs> you know, because I come yeah, from and, Right. And what's really common here is, hey, buddy. It's always buddy. Right. That's my and buddy. Hey, buddy. The genuine you need to lay off on that one. I do understand um what she's saying and then it's just say hey, hey pet. Joke. yeah there you go hey pets you know what i mean yeah yeah it's it's um yorkshire folks say hey doc <laughs> good lord <laughs> yeah so i don't i was know. asked jill i was asked one time um does the UK have different, like, you know, the way you come from, um, where you come from, and then you have someone coming from another area, you all have different accents, okay? Yeah, yeah. It's the sure same in the UK. It's absolutely, it's absolutely the same. They, are, they all have different. I mean, if you have Greg up here, 
he he sounds very um Devonshire, which is where I'm living right now. Um mm -hmm. and I, I kinda in my mind I giggle at it because I hear this the whole time. And for a long time when I came to the UK, uh I think I was in the first second year and uh no well it'll probably be longer than that. And I had a Devonshire boyfriend at one point and um mm -hmm. I used to have to ask people, what the hell were he saying? <laughs> because I was so used to listening to <laughs> London accents, I couldn't understand the goddamn word they were saying. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I didn't, well, you know, that's a story in itself, to be quite honest. But, you know, seriously, I'd have to get someone to almost translate it, to be honest. It was, that, it was, it was so different to what I was used to doing, listening to, especially, I was in the heart of London. I was used to the Proper London, you know what I mean? And then mm -hmm. I had this uh, Devonshire on, on the phone to me, and I was like, well, what the hell are they fucking saying? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't understand that. I love but, the English accent, though. I love the English accent. A lot of people do like the English accent. Um, I do. I love it. Absolutely strange, love strange it. Strange enough, I have never picked it up, and I don't. I don't think I want to, to be quite honest, because the simple reason is I am Irish, and I don't think I want to lose that part to me, you know, that kind of way. Yeah. It's kind of like, you know, where you come from. So, no, I don't put on an English accent. I don't do that. I, no, I don't. And you do get a lot of Irish people who will come over, and within 6 to 12 months, they have an uh, English accent. I'm like, you're faking that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Be yeah. yourself. Be who you are. But Don't see, when I, go home, when I go up north to see my family, they think I have an accent. But I don't. I don't have the southern accent. But when I go home, they think I do. And oh. then when I come back down here, my kids think I talk. Like my family up north. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, but I, I don't notice any different. I, I, I don't know. I just talk. I, I can't tell any difference. I mean, there's some words that I say. I, I hear myself saying, but not like it's the real southern draw. I don't have that. It's just YouTube, Northern accents, uh, Southern accents. You will hear a lot of, uh, 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 hear a lot of diff difference. Yeah. Yeah. I have a Scottish accent. Uh, my friend has, don't, cannot understand me. Well, Dolly, I don't understand you straight away because the, the Scottish accents are known to speak very quick. And yes, God, I will, awesome. I will simply understand that in a heartbeat. I'll tell you why. Because the Irish accent is, is really fast. But what I've learned to do after so many years being in the UK is to slow my accent down. Now, have I lost my accent? No, I have not. But I have slowed it down. But if I'm on a call with someone, well, there you go. A full-blown, you know what I mean? <laughs> it comes out. It really does. But um, you get on a roll. When you yeah. get on a roll sometimes, I can laugh so hard. Yeah, that's the Irish. That, the Irish comes out with me. <laughs> I I just, sometimes I just, oh, my God, I love hearing you talk. Like, I don't like it when you get upset and angry and stuff like that. But when you are, oh, it just rolls. <laughs> it just mm. rolls. And I'm just like, oh, my God. Yeah, that would be the Irish coming home with me at that point, I would say. Especially oh, I know. My mother, oh, she was Irish and German, and she was the most stubborn. She, when she got mad, oh, holy, 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 holy. You better. She was stubborn. <laughs> she was a very <laughs> stubborn woman. Lovable. Oh, she, she would love you to pieces, but she was stubborn. She got yeah. something in her mind and her head. You are not changing her mind at all. Forget it. Don't even try. 
She was very stubborn. Yeah, I can imagine, imagine the German and the Irish mixed together. I mean, that's Ooh, like, you know, a little bit of yeah. a tea there, you know what I mean? <laughs> yep, that was quite something, I'm telling you. Man, oh, yeah, no, it, it does. Every now and again, it will come out of me. Trust me, I will. I'm going to roll there, and I, it'll, be, it'll take me forever to just come down off it, you know what I mean? But other than that, I mean, it doesn't bother me. It's just the way I am. Is I can't help that. I mean, <laughs> not being Irish and all that. So, yeah, um, I hope your brother is feeling well, Jill. I really do. Our prayers and our thoughts. <sighs> I keep telling mm -hmm. him, Jill, when you see him, that we're mm -hmm. all here. You know what I mean? I do. Just give him I that, I that strength. Him. Give him that boost. Under, leave him think that. Leave him understand that people from around the world or knows about him, knows about what he's going through and doing lots of prayers for him. That's an, that do, was a major big day. Look, our lovely Ray yeah. was putting prayers. My prayers dad was in Germany. I had my grandparents like that. Yeah. Well, German, can you imagine a German and Irish mixed together? Oh, my God. That, I call that TNT. My words is TNT at that point. <laughs> I'm telling you, it was, she, she was stubborn. She was a beautiful, lovely, warm, loving, very warm and loving mother. And everybody loved her. Look what I when knew how to say. she got mad, oh, watch out. <gasps> well, if someone got mad like that, I'd be doing a, a see you later, yeah, you, you know what I mean? Um. <laughs> But anyway, um, New Hobby said we we're all supporting him. Just so she, thank just, you, New uh, Hobby. That was written thank in chat. You so much. Know, everybody, that. everybody um, that's praying and sending prayers for him, keep him coming. Yeah, let, let him know it. Let him know there's people behind him. He's not alone. And I guarantee you, he may feel, oh, I'm alone. I'm going through this. You know, it's, and it's all right. It's horrendous. But yeah. Let him know that there's a lot of people, Jill, who who really care, you know. Uh, that's a German and Irish. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I can't imagine German and Irish together. I mean, that's a, a recipe a recipe for disaster, to be quite honest, <laughs> if you ask me. Um, yeah. Yes, I will. I, I will be talking to him tonight, later on tonight, and I will tell him again. Yeah, let him know. I will. Thank you all so much. It's greatly, greatly appreciated uh, and still needed. And Dolly's saying, is he home? Is he home? Yes, he is home. Uh-huh. He is home. Thankfully. Because I don't I don't think he would if if he was like in a hospital and having to go through these treatments, he he would just continue the treatments. He would not stay in the hospital because yeah. he gets the treatments every three weeks. Yeah. And he gets so, 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 so sick. Oh, uh, the last treatment, he was actually supposed to have another treatment Friday. But he was still so darn sick from the last one. They had to give them a few more days and postponed it till today um, to do his treatment because he had been so sick with this one. Oh. And every time he has one, he just, the being sick just continues longer right. um, from the treatment. But if he was in a hospital or in a hospice or something having these treatments, he'd quit. He, he would say no more. Which is, uh, Dottie said, my sister went into hospice hospice uh, for a week. Um, a lot of people will like, you know, I would be kind of the person I'd want to come home as well, to be honest. Yeah, hospice, and uh, hospice, um, hospice at home where he is, they have hospice that comes to your home. Um, but he hasn't needed it yet. I mean, he's, he's, he's not sick, at that stage. He's vomiting, stuff like that. 
but his wife lives with him. You know, there he has his wife. He has his kids very close. Right. And all um seven of my siblings are within 10 miles of him. So anything that he needs, somebody is there. Somebody can yeah. be there within just that, a few that, that is really good. That's um really exactly. important. Yeah. The only problem is is like his doctor is an hour and a half drive. Oh wow. Wow. Um, two ladies who passed over, please. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you very much. Jill, I'm getting a who's a from two That's, ladies. One's my mom. It's got to be one. Of, one has got to be my mom, and the other lady might be. I was going to say his mother-in-law, but they they did not get along, so I don't think it's right. my mother-in-law. Might be my grandma. Might be my hey, grandmother. One's definitely my from mom. Her. Welcome in. Yeah, that's interesting, uh, Colin. Colin uh, does um, readings and all that stuff, and um, I know I love when he, he gets something, he will, you know, put in there. I don't mind that. Oh, I love it. I I love it because boy, there's been a lot of unanswered questions, you know, and I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Right. And Colin has been spot on. Um. Like I, I'm sleeping sometimes, and I'll feel somebody touch my leg. Oh, really? And yes, and it it's just um, I'll feel somebody grab my hair, and healing in for him. Let him know. Oh my goodness! I I absolutely will, Colin. Yeah. And Colin said. Um, there's a lady, it's my mom mm -hmm. that plays with my hair. Yeah. She always loved my long hair. Always, mm -hmm. I was the only one of her daughters that could grow their hair long. And she, oh, he, Colin said, she's playing with my hair. Yeah. And I truly, honest to God, believe it because my mother always loved my hair, always. And she's only been passed for three years. Oh, she's only gone three years? My mom, yes. Mm. Yes, my mom's only been passed three years. Wow. When Colin would always, um, whatever he gets, he always says it in the chat and stuff and like that. And I love that. I, I love that he does that. Because there's a lot, of, a lot of people that wonder. You know, and and if there's somebody like him that can can tell us Validate things, stuff, you know, that has that amazing ability, I say, I I I'm grateful to know. I am very grateful to know. Yes. No, that's um awesome, Colin. I mean, really, it really, it really is. You know, um, it's lovely to know there's another world out there when we do uh pass on as yeah. well. I mean, that is very rest assuring. I mean, because sometimes you wonder, is there really? Yeah, is there really? Like, and and does it? Yeah. Yeah. And obviously, I, I do believe there is. You what? I do believe there is. I do. I genuinely oh, I do. believe there is. Yeah. I do. There's something. There is absolutely something out there. Sometimes I think we're living hell on earth. Well, Sometimes. You do, you do know they say this life is a, uh, a test. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh, yeah. Um. And sometimes I wonder, is this hell? And you know, I I get them feeling. Sometimes I would think that, but you know, really, Colin. Wow.
Do you understand that, that Jim? Oh my goodness, I don't know. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, Jill, do you, you understand that? Obviously, I'm not going to understand it. Understand what? I'm going to wait for my chat for a minute. Uh, uh -huh, yes, Dolly. You even uh, asked, uh, you're the ones that had to uh, come in to help you across, help you cross over when it's time and. Oh. Uh, Yes, Dolly, you can even ask your loved ones to come and help you cross over when it's time, and they will. Yes. Because um, I said I didn't know that, and Colin said yes. Um, I, didn't, I didn't know that. I think she's referring, I think he's uh, referring to Dolly. About the loved ones coming to help you pass over, coming she said he sat on her bed, came to see her. You know, I've heard of that before. Another lady, she was talking to her deceased husband and kept telling him, I'm coming, Robert. I'll, I'll see you soon, Robert. Yes, Robert. I will, Robert. I love you, Robert. And she died. Wow. 20 minutes later. Wow. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. Robert was your husband. Yeah. Yep. She said on Saturday, mm -hmm. she said in her bed, and she came to see her. Okay, we're getting all paranormal right now. Huh? Hey, Kong Dogs, how are you doing, my friend? <clears throat> I do believe in that stuff. Yeah, so do I. The afterlife. I do believe that after this life, there's going to be somewhere else. There's got to be. Helping you uh, cross over. When it's time, I mean, there's loads. I know, and I've been taught by spirits and angels. Mm -hmm. Really? It's an angels. Wow. Colin, can you tell our people's futures? I wish he could because if he did, uh, I'm pretty sure I'd uh, get a lot of, out of that one. <laughs> and that's not being funny. <laughs> But yeah, if you can tell futures, um, I'd love if you can give me a lot of numbers of next week. Yeah, everybody wants that. He, um, no, he's a medium. He deals with the medium. He, he doesn't. He don't see what's going on in a purpose a per, a person's uh life. He uh interacts with people who have crossed over, so to speak. Um, yeah. so that's what he does. I went to a psychic one time. So he's not one of those psychic mediums who's no. going to tell you what you're going to do next week or where you're going to be next week. He's not one of those people. I wish he was, actually, because we'd be all rich by now. Well, I went to a psychic, and nothing she said came true. So. <laughs> nothing. Yeah. I see you have the fraud, the fraud people out there as well. You know, well, there's this town um, here in Florida called Casadega, and it's a spiritual town. And there's psychics and medium. They say there's mediums, but I've never seen one. <laughs> um, and it's a very spiritual town. So, um, of course, me and my kids all went there. That that was our that's our thing. We've been there a few times and got readings. Never once has any of it ever happened. Like I ain't going there again. No, don't don't waste some money on that kind of stuff. No, and it's like sixty, seventy dollars. 
Yes, I can want people uh, if they're doing it before they have a them uh listen and it's still uh what there oh my gosh colin really hey yeah yeah how are we doing sweetheart hi yeah yeah Casadaga, yeah, yeah. She went to two of them. One was BS, and the second one, uh, everything came true. Wow. <laughs> true one. True is, I don't want to say any more about that. Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> I love it when Colin tells me stuff. Did you read that one? Yes, to Casadaga. Mm. Never heard of that. It's a town here in Florida. I'm only like 20 minutes from there. Is what? Yeah, it's not that far from me. Yeah. So how is everybody? Yeah, I hope everyone's having a good day. Like I said, I'll be, on, I'll be on tonight, but I won't be on tomorrow. I'll go and see the general practitioner and crap like that. So, are you sick, Heidi? Oh, she's just hanging in there. Oh my God, Colin, really? Are you too sick? Wow. You've been sick, Heidi? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> oh my God. She said, Jill, next time your hair gets pulled, you'll have to wonder if it's something spiritual or me doing it from afar. Hmm. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, Jill, you got your hair cut up, didn't you? I did. Yeah. I did, but um, I got it cut so it just sat on my shoulders, and that was in October. And already it's like, Gosh, it's probably grown four or five inches already since October. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, Dre, how are you doing, lovely? Hope you feel better, Heidi. Hi, Dre. You're like me, um, fast girl there. Yes. I mean, now every few years I chop it all off and yeah, you just had to be in real yeah. You do, <laughs> yeah, it'll be short but long enough to put it up for the summer. Why, which was <laughs> nice because it gets so darn hot here, yeah, I can imagine. It's nice to just put it up off your neck and yeah. <clears throat> oh, 
so yeah, I mean, I have not looked at the block list. I uh, know a lot of people got blocked last night. And they, if they were trolling, yes, I did say trolls come in. But we're going back to basics. We're we're bringing our channel back, and you know mm -hmm. we won't we won't be doing that. Yeah, I have mine on too, Ray Ray. My air conditioning. It's been hot. Yeah, get it back to. No BS. Oh, you be super, have a, you be super shitty, honey. What was going? What's, what's going on, hon? Very warm today. I wish it was very warm here in the UK, but what's wrong, Dre? Tell you now, it's been raining all day. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Dre. What's going wrong, Marnie? You said I'm trying to be uh, okay today, but it's been super uh, shitty. So, how are you, Susan? Um, I'm okay. I'm good. You know, I. What can I say about me? But, um, how are you doing, honey? I she was having a having a hard time. I think it was yesterday. Right. Hugs, hugs and hugs and support, Dre. It's my mental health is just bad right now. Uh, there's a lot going on, and I'm just having a really hard time. Oh, Dre, honey. Yeah. I hope you'll be all right, sweetie. Oh, Dre. I'll say some prayers for you, honey. I hope things get better for you. That's hard. Yeah, when the mental health flares up, it's not good. Yeah. And everyone isn't. has mental health, believe me. Everybody. It's just something, it just takes something to flare it up. And it's not, I mean, yeah, I've been there. And I'm not ashamed to say that neither, to be quite honest. I think a lot of us have been. Yeah, sometime or another. Well, you're untruth yourself if you don't say the truth, you know, that kind of way? Yeah. Hell, I can tell you, I've been through hmm, a lot of dark places, but, you know, well, I'm still here today and I'm fighting and I'm doing the best I can. As, as, much, as much as I can do, you know, I, I'm doing the best I can do. Do yeah. I make mistakes now and again? Hell yes, I do. Thank you all. I really appreciate it. I have been uh, crying. But you know, we all do. No one's perfect. I've cried all morning and end up crying myself to sleep this morning. You just, oh, you just woke up. Oh, Dre, honey. I'm so sorry, Dre. Yeah. I've been there and done that, Dre. And let me tell you that. I've been there and done that. I know it's like that's horrible. I'm here for a reason. I'm here to bother all you people. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking, you know. I like to make joke. I like to make light out of a bad situation. That's just me. But no, um, no, she been God bless her, you know. That's not. Yeah, I think she's going through a hard time. I don't, right. I don't know the situation, but apparently it's a hard time. Feel bad for her. It's just the worst feeling in the world when you do that. I know that. Believe me, I've been there. Yeah, I'm here for a reason, I guess. Sometimes I wish uh, the internet uh, hugs were real. Hugs, oh, I said, Dree. Oh, bless you, honey. Sorry. You know, Dree, I hey, know. Dree. 
Why don't you try going, go shit in somebody's air conditioner. Maybe that'll make you feel better. No, I don't Remember think so. that? Oh, my God. That was talking about shitting in somebody's air conditioner. That, oh, yeah, that was oh, yeah. a hilarious night. I will never, as long as I live, forget that. Yes, Heidi, right. The weather, when it's cloudy and rainy day after day after day after day, it doesn't help. It doesn't help, exactly. It does not well, help. When yeah. I was in New York, oh, my God. I was like, it's no wonder people get so depressed in the winter. It, it was just cloudy and crappy every single day. Finally, one day, the sun came out, and I was like, everybody was like, wearing sunglasses and squinting and like wow that sun is so bright and it was like you couldn't adjust Ray, what they call that honey is um seasonal depression when it's raining and it, it's the weather's crap and you're feeling that's that's called seasonal depression help <laughs> after you can get that anyways and you don't have to have mental health to go with it. Just let me tell you. <clears throat> I will never go another winter with my going. Hold on. I'm retired this message. I will never go another uh, winter with uh, going out somewhere. Without, without going somewhere warm again. Right. Yeah, okay. it's depressing. It's very yeah. depressing. And not only that, I, it gets into your bones, and you you know you're looking out and it's raining. And I mean today, for instance, right? Hey, uh, ladies, be fine. Welcome in, lovely. Today, I mean, I just woke up and I was like, it was just raining nonstop. It hasn't stopped. Nonstop. It, it hasn't stopped raining. And all you want to do is go to yeah. bed because you know why? There's nothing else yep. to do. Yeah, that'll come on YouTube. You know what I mean? Yep. And when I talk, very depressing. When I come on YouTube to, tonight, tonight, well, tonight our time, um, and I will go and get my doctor's appointment done, and I will do all that, and then probably go and go to, go to sleep. <laughs> Hi, Lady Spitfire. Can't say I'll be. I can't say I'll be on YouTube tomorrow. I can't promise it. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I'm not gonna promise that one. I might take a day off. You know. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. I hate the foggy mornings. I haven't seen fog around here, uh, Dolly. Um, but you're in a different area in the UK than me. But no, so all it does is rain. And it will, like, it gets you down, you know what I mean? It generally gets you down. We had a fog warning today. Um, the, the fog was so bad this morning. Oh, really? I haven't seen fog. Well, the last time I seen fog was in Ireland. Really? Yeah, I think so. It was pretty bad here today, they said. Because there was a couple accidents because of it. Of course, I don't know if it was all fog. There could have been smoke mixed in with it because there's been a few mm. controlled burns and then the smoke gets mixed in with the fog. Well, you're in a pretty um, cool place where, you know, you, you get really good weather. And that's good for your mental health. Um, unfortunately, not all of us get the same. You know, um, what can I say? I mean, I'll be honest about it. It has rained here on and off all damn day long. That's awful. No rain up here, Susan. Being clear all day. Um, cold and frosty morning. Hmm. I'm sick of that weather. I can't wait till the UK goes into the hot weather. And what we do then is we bitch because we can't cool ourselves down. Because we don't have air conditioning here in the UK. We're all about uh, keeping our homes warm. 
So when it comes to really hot weather, we're screwed, you know, in that sense. Apart from yeah. that, that we have, we've, we've bought, I, I mean, I have bought in these stand-up fan things, but, you know, we don't have air conditioning here in the UK um, because of, we, we do um, a lot of wanting to keep our homes warm, <laughs> so to speak. Yeah, but boy, the past couple of years, Susan, hasn't there been times where it has been just terrible hot? Yeah, over here in the UK. Yeah, it has, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, you would be better off closing your windows at that point because yeah. it would be cooler in the apartment when you open the windows. <laughs> you know, you know, it's just been absolutely horrendous heat. But you yeah. find your way of cooling now. I mean, look, we're like over here in the UK, we adapt to stuff. It's just we, we do, we really, I always say this in Ireland too, we have a way of adapting to stuff without anything else, you know, that kind of way. Yeah, but I don't know that the heat just, it, I guess it's because I'm getting older, the heat is really starting to bother me bad. When it gets up to 97 and 100% humidity, so it feels like it's 110. That shit sucks. Hey, Greg. How you doing, my friend? See, there's um, he's, there's uh, Greg saying, Hi, Colin, mate. That's just a UK term. Believe me. Welcome in, oh, Greg. Hi. How you doing? Hi, Colin. I'm okay, thank you. Hi, mate. How you doing? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, he said hello to Jill. <laughs> <laughs> At least he didn't say hello, Jill, mate. <laughs> So when people will get that wrong, yeah. no, that's not the way that is. That mean mate means friend. That's all that means. Well, it does. That's just a huge, yeah, uh, UK kind of slang, more kind of more or less. True, Susan. There you go. Although I never use that word, I mean, because I, I don't see the point in doing it. But um, because I don't come, it's a very UK term. Uh, it's not an Irish way of um, saying. Mm -hmm. I can just imagine myself being in Ireland saying, um, hey, hey, mate. Mate. hey, mate, how are you doing? <laughs> they would look at me and say, what the hell is wrong with you? But, you know, it is what it is. But it is very much a UK term. And people got, um, see ever wrong on that one. Believe me, they really did. Ridiculous. Yeah, Colin and Sierra are having fun. <laughs> They're good about it. Yeah. Yeah, new hobby. Exactly. Like men calling women it's just babe. Like calling, yeah, exactly. It's just like calling men babe. I mean, in America, they say, hey, babe, how you doing? It doesn't mean they're in love with you or anything. No. Not like that. It's a friendly um, greeting, so to speak. And the UK term used the word uh, mate, and uh, Aaron would use any word underneath the uh Irish dictionary if they can but yeah good to hear you're okay the scenery there, there he goes again look it's good to hear you're okay mate uh call him, mate uh yeah you know what I mean and my friends I uh, show up in my uh, now I've got to stab myself once a day Oh no, Ray Ray, that's not good. I 
call my daughter bitch all the time. <laughs> we're, we're just like that. Hey, bitch, what's up? Uh, Heather says, uh, my friends uh, show up and open um, the door and they say, hey, uh, the, hey there, bitch. <laughs> what's up? What are you up to? <laughs> God. That's a nice way of greeting a person, uh, really. If you think about it. But, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, it's just funny. It uh, has personal ghost stories. Um, Greg, you can come up if you want. Keep your camera off. I mean, I don't really... I'm not bothered, you know? Make you a uh, <laughs> back up north. Can we uh, show some ghost uh, hunters? I don't want. Hey, where is he? Well, where is Greg? Uh, where's Greg right now? Is he up north? Yeah, he's up north. Yeah, he's up north. Yeah, he's up north. Can Ray Can you draw up um AB's channel? It's called AB Unleashed. For those um, who are missing out on that channel, that's his backup. How do you do that? That's what. How do you pull up somebody's channel to post in chat? You're gonna have to have some one of the mods that one. You go to AB Unleashed. You go and uh, there's a URL. You hit on the URL, paste and copy that. And drop it in the chat. Hmm. Okay. Uh, that sounds easy doing that. Uh, in which it is because for me it is, but um, one of the mods can help you out. We can have a drink uh, also. Yeah, you come up if you want, Greg, if you want. No one did, no. No, it is not, uh, Greg. Not you have all. to drop a link, Susan, if you, for him to come up, don't you? But if he wants to come up, I'll drop my link in myself. This is my little buddy. When I say buddy, right? Nice to see you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you get people. You people. You get people using it. <laughs> it's just that they tormented um Sierra last night about that word, and um they were very incorrect in saying that. Uh, saying what? Oh, I know. I know. Yeah, um, Craig, the thought mate means mate, miss, but it doesn't mean that at all. It's like a social joke. I googled it. Googled what? The word mate. Uh, you gotta google it, like in the UK, um, I would say slang words. Psychosocial, what did you Google? Yeah, it was. I Googled it. Greg, I dropped your link. You want to come up? Oh, God. Anyone here on Tontons anymore? Huh? Tontons. Funny. No. I unsubscribed from her a long time ago and I haven't done that. No, I haven't been there either. Unless she changed her name. I don't think she's been around. No, she changed the channel name, I think. But I don't go over there. But I don't think she's been around anywhere unless she um 
Unless she changed her name. Right, guys, there's um, AB's Unleashed uh, backup channel. Please subscribe to that one. If you can, please uh, jump on there. Susan, what about the dogs? Well, Greg, I ain't going to talk to you in the chat now, am I? I'm going to talk to you on panel. I dropped your link at least twice. See, so Greg back in the day said so he's going to, when I get down to London, he's going to take me out to visit the dogs. And that's all fine and dandy. But, you know. To visit what? Well, he wants to take me to see the. You see, London has the most beautiful dogs down there. They have really beautiful white swans and ducks, and Ooh. you can just throw them bread. You can buy bread and just throw them the bread and whatnot. Nice. So Greg, uh, Greg wants to take me there, but unfortunately, I'm a bit behind on uh, certain things. So, yeah. I like it when it happens. Yeah, I do want to feed the ducks, right? Yeah. Oh, well, there we go. Corn dogs. Corn dogs, you better behave. Hey, corn dogs. How are you doing, my friend? I better behave. And I will behave, Susan, because... I would never do anything to get your channel shut down. Thank you. And uh, I want to say hello to Jill. Hi. Hi, how are you today? I'm good. How are you? Good. I also want to say hello to my friend Colin in the chat. I want to send my good wishes to Dre. Dre. And I want to ask Susan a question. Susan. Yeah. I will be visiting the UK in April. Oh, you won't in April? Okay. My question to you is, how about I take you out for a nice steak dinner, a couple pints at the pub? Would you come out on a, would you go out on a date with me, Susan? That's what I'm asking. <laughs> I'll take no. I'll take no. Am I friend zoned? Am I just a friend? I'll go out with you as a friend. Okay. Yes. All right. I will take that. I will take it. We will go out as a friend. I'll buy you dinner. And this is what I want to do. I want to go to the Abbatorium and see that hologram Abba show. Do you like Abba? Abba? Yes, Abba. I do. Abba, sorry. Yeah. I, I love Abba. All right. Well, it's a date, Susan. Me and you. Go to the pub, get a steak dinner. It's a date. Friend date. Friend date. Right. Only. Yes! Yes! I got a date with Susan! <laughs> he knocked himself off. <laughs> Shit, he knocked himself off. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm going to show you something. <clears throat> Diamond art, okay. I can't see. I can't see. Is it showing up? Yeah, it see. is. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Absolutely beautiful, Jen. Okay. Yes, I just finished it. Awesome. It's absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> oh, goodness, I don't know. <sighs> Good Lord. Susan's got a date in April. Susan's got a date 
in April. <laughs> Good Lord. He got so excited and knocked himself right off panel. <laughs> <laughs> Susan got a date with a mate. <laughs> he got some corn dogs and off. Because he got so excited. Yeah, did you see him when he was, he hit the thing and it was like, boom, gone. <laughs> Susan got a date. Should I ask him, April, what the date what is? April what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> All over YouTube will be talking, right? I know, right? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Stop leaving for fair. <laughs> oh, hold on. Is that the All right, hi there. See you, lovely. Hey Heidi, how are you doing, sweetie? Hey, sweetie. Hi Heidi. Hi Joe. You don't okay. sound good. Oh, I'm hanging in there. Oh, hold on. I forgot to mute myself. You're okay. I wanted to show you my new little thing I got. They're little oh, miniature. They're little miniature like things you put together. And I got the coffee shop. And little little miniature out. things you put together. Oh, what do you mean? It, it, it's like a little coffee bar. And it comes with all the tiny little pieces. They're kind of like a doll house. Wow. Oh, isn't that cute? Well, I'm going to try that. Make that. So, yes. Oh, I'm you make every single bit of it. Yeah. Yeah. Heather so, says she only lives two hours from Corn Dog, and he never asked her to go on a date. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Corn Dog, you knock yourself off, my friend, when you got a little bit excited. I think that. I, I, shit now I gotta take my fish for a walk that day. <laughs> I think that's awesome of Corn Dog. <laughs> mm. Oh my goodness. Corn dogs, you knocked yourself off. You hit the computer or whatever, I don't know, device or huh? You're on, probably on a laptop or a computer, I don't know, but you knocked yourself off. <laughs> but yeah. But I'm going to jump down. All right, Heidi, you take it, sweetheart. I'm trying. Get better, Get better I'm Heidi. Trying. Get better. I'm trying. I love you guys. Love you love too. You. All right. I'll be in chat. All right, sweetheart. Okay. You take care. <laughs> that was funny. I must admit that. It was hilarious what I had to say. I got to walk my fish that day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Come on, have you been looking up the army video? The army video? <laughs> oh, God. Anyways, moving on from that. I mean, it's just ridiculous. But. So, Corn Dog, you know, when, in, when in April is this date going to happen? Corn Dog, you forgot to give me the date because you knocked yourself off. <laughs> you got so excited. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah. Heidi doesn't um, sound very well. She don't. No. I had to say, Cora, it's nice to take Susan out. You have me now a long time, let me tell you, because I, of course, you're not going to take yourself out, right? It's just the way it is. I got to, Jill, you hold the pan, otherwise I um, just go to the bathroom, yeah. if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Make sure you order the most expensive. <laughs> Make sure you order the most expensive meal on the menu. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Corn dog, please. When it when it what's the date of this date? We need to know. Sus and Jade, have you been watching or do, are you just coming in? We have some tea for you. Oh, you saw it. Okay. I'm wait we're waiting for him to come back in here because he didn't give her a date. Yes. Do a live while they're on their date. Yes. That's a fantastic idea, Heather. I think that that's what sh what they should do. Go live while they're on their date. Their friends date. Hey Sasha Jade, how are you doing lovely? I seen corn dogs speak out uh, beautiful. Because you don't even as fast as the other's panel. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I ain't that bad, trust me. I'm not that bad of a person, honestly. No, uh, does he leave? Does he leave restaurants as fast as he leaves panel? But you can have the date if you want, that's that shit. I can switch it. <laughs> Doesn't matter to me, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, where's Greg gone? <laughs> Yeah, you can go to the UK. I'll uh, switch over the dates. I'll send you instead, Sasha. How about that one? <laughs> I don't mind. Corn dogs will try and give me six ups to box in which I don't want. <laughs> so, no. Oh, no. Am I still on panel? Huh? Can you hear me, Susan? Of course, again. Okay. My phone's being weird. On video, the two of you all night. <laughs> oh my God. Look, you ain't like that. So let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, where'd the boys go? The minute corn dog announced that, my two lovely English friends, um, Build, so to speak. <laughs> oh my God! And Greg was just in talking about me bringing him, me to meet to, to meet him up to go duck hunt. Well, not duck hunting, but to feed the ghost hunting. 
No, dog, no. He went oh, feed the that's right. Go feed the yeah. dogs. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, I saw a wink, wink there with Corn Dog and just friends, and yeah. then Corn Dog did the wink, wink. Right. I saw that. Wink, wink, just friends. Hmm. A hundred percent, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so where's my English friends gone now? <laughs> Why are you changing the subject, Susan? We want to talk more about the date. No, not dog hunting, Heidi. Uh, feeding the dog, so to speak. Uh, Greg was just in her talking about that. And uh, the minute um, corn dogs came up uh, and announced what he said, Greg has uh, left the building, so to speak. <laughs> but what can you do, right? Yeah, corn dog come in I and. I did not know he was going to come out with that. What, Sasha? Yeah, I hope he doesn't take his friend that scared me right off panel that first day corn dogs appeared. Well, Greg. The Greg. Oh, no, he's into all the paranormal stuff. You know, people are into that, you know, they really are, but. And I'm pretty sure people are going to announce this all over YouTube and. People are going to slag me and whatever else, whatever. Look, I don't really don't, I don't, don't care anymore. Who is that? Sasha Jade, who are you talking about? Um, I bet uh, he hopes that uh, he doesn't uh, take his uh, friend too scared. They might off panel on the first day corn dogs appears. I think she's on about uh, Greg, to be quite honest. Yes, and uh, it was his friend, and I uh, told Oh, him. and she thought he was naked and he had underwear yeah. on. Corn dog's friend. Corn dog's friend. I know, Susan, it was just uh, the way you uh, accidentally said the dog hunting. Yeah, no, we don't, we don't do that. I mean, we were, Greg was talking about feeding the dogs. Um... I know he's got he and he heard corn dog saying that he disappeared. So what can I say? Okay. So corn dog was on he had a friend on on buddies and the friend stood up and everybody thought he was naked, but okay. he actually had underwear on. Oh well. Wow. See that that's why I have the overlay. Um yeah. Unless I see him doing correct proper, I won't I'll put up the overlay straight away. I mean there was a guy on here from I don't know what country he was in. Newfoundland. Uh, yeah, Newfoundland. And I put up the screen and then I took it down and I was kind of like a bit a bit kind of Yeah. Yeah, and then he was kind of looking at me thinking, well, why is there a screen up? You know what I mean? And yeah, I said, his name was Frank. Well, as long as you're sitting down, you're all right. And he said, you want me to stand up? I said, hell no. <laughs> Don't do that. No, we've been I had my before. phone literally on the screen. I had my finger on the screen again, actually, if he had pulled that, but it wasn't like that at all. I did go on and watch a couple um couple minutes of one of his videos. It does seem legit. No, he's legit. Um he wanted me to play um some video about an unalive child in his country. And I said to him, look, I'll have to go through that video before I even play it. Yeah. And I looked at it and I thought, no, I'm not gonna bring it to this channel because we do not and I explained yeah. that to him that night. Yeah, not, that we not do not do missing children. We don't do it. Right. Right. You know? yeah. And that's where I brought up purple. Because I thought, well, maybe purple would be a better answer for him because she does that kind of stuff. Whereas I don't. So 
I don't pretend to say who I am here on YouTube. Um, no, I don't do missing kids. No way. Right. And there's a point in your life where I can imagine that would just get you down. And I'm not going to be down. I'm looking to be a little bit up, if you know what I mean. And um, Right. <clears throat> I, love, I love children, don't get me wrong. I do. I have two. Mm -hmm. one, one is an adult, one is not. Um, yeah, but Miss, no, I don't. I won't play that. I won't do it. So, so you dropped it in my uh, back chat, and I had a look at that, and I thought, no, I ain't doing that. Right. But what did stick out to me was. He said, well, how are you getting so much, I guess, people in here? And when he's doing missing children, he's not getting that. I can't answer that. I don't. I, yeah, don't, know, I don't know, I don't know his channel. I, I, I don't, don't know. know him at all. He, I guess he just needs to get his name out there, I guess, more. I, I guess he needs to... Um, you know, it's like every YouTube channel. You start off small. You know, you have like, hmm, what, 12 people in here, and then you you might get 15 the next next time. And, mm -hmm. you know, it, it, your channel just grows. But you yeah. got to be um, with a channel. And I've, I've seen this, and I've seen it over and over again. you got to be kind of spontaneous. you got to have, a, like, a personality. Yes, stop, stop. I don't know. I don't know if he's not if if he's not hinting. And then he said he was a mental health professional, but what stood out to me was the fact he was on cam with bloody an alcoholic drink in his hand, and I was like, "Well, that's a bit weird," you know. Mm -hmm. Did you not see yeah. that, Jim? I I didn't. I saw drinking something, but I didn't know what it was. It was an alcoholic beverage. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Yeah, I didn't see exactly what he was drinking. Uh, that country, I, I, I didn't know. I knew it was a can. I knew it was a can of beverage. Um, but I didn't know what what brand it was. I didn't see that. But in any case, he said to me. He said he had PTSD, and I said, well, okay, I have that too. And he said, well, you know, what gets me through it is uh, drinking. Alcohol, yep, I heard him say yep. that. And I was, okay. like, shocked. I mean, if he was a mental health doctor, you know that's a big no-no. Yeah. And he said he doesn't see his child. Or he can't see his child because mm. of his videos. But I think maybe it's because of the alcohol. I don't know. I don't want to judge somebody, but. Why? Yeah, it's true. There's a lot of people with PTSD. They do have a drink. You're right. I have, um, have I came on here with a few drinks of me? Yes, I have. You know, um. And is that the correct way of doing things? No, it's not. It isn't. So I'm going to tighten up there, you know what I mean? Hey, if I want to have a, a beverage, I'm going to not go online. I'm not going to go online. I'm not going to drink what I'm doing. Because I've been called from... I've been called this name, that name, and every other name underneath the YouTube name of Sons, and um, I ain't going to do it anymore. I'm not going to do it. And hell, sometimes you come on here, you feel you have Dutch courage, you know, when you had a drink or whatever. And it doesn't always pan out. It's not good. No, <clears throat> PTSD and alcohol don't go well together. 
No, I don't. Ruins a lot of marriages. I know that. When, when I say it, I'm talking about the on off and the, the one. I don't do it every day. I don't have that addiction. Thank God. I'm, you know. But it's not healthy at the end of the day. And um, I ain't going to leave Ooh. anyone come in here and take the piss out of me again. Did you read what's in back chat? It might have been from yesterday. I don't know. I know. Don't call it out, Jill. I'm not. I was just a troll. I booted them. I get a lot of stuff in back chat. Yeah, was that for today? Just now, a while ago, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. See, Jill, I didn't say nothing to Jill, and I read back chat, and I actually booted a per the person, but she didn't know what was written in the back chat. So no. I don't want her to call it out. I don't want to say anything. Just leave it alone. We're not going to give any credence to that. Doesn't matter to me. I don't want to just leave. It I back. just noticed that there was something there. I'm on my phone. See, I'm not used to all this stuff yet. Um, I I just noticed that there was. Yeah, something no, there. they were backstage and I booted them. Oh, okay, good. Mm -hmm. That's good. I don't recognize someone. I'm going to boot them straight away. But before yeah. I did that, um. They read that, and um, I read it, you know. Were they in chat, too? So you have 1.75 subscribers. Congratulations. I know awesome. if the channel is growing. It is growing. It's, we're, we're getting where we... It's been slow, <laughs> but it's all right. You know what I mean? So, yeah, we, we're at 1.5. 1.75, yeah. It's 1.5, what was that? 1.75. 1.75. Yeah, yeah. 1.75. But there's more onto that as well. So we're getting up near the uh, up near the 800 mark. Um, so, yeah, that's all coming. As I said, my channel is not, um, we're not losing. It's on subscribers only mode right now. Yeah, it's on it's on sub right. It's on sub right yeah. sub yeah, subs um right now. But I only mm -hmm. I do that keep the bots out and all that crap. Yeah, I don't blame you. They're gonna come in and harass you, they can they can at least subscribe. Exactly. <laughs> they gotta mm -hmm. pay pay to play if you want if you know what I mean. Yeah. But... Although subscribing is free, they're still gonna subscribe to come in and harass you. We have 45 people in chat right now. Uh, please hit the like button. It is free to do so. One of the one things was well, absolutely free on YouTube. Please hit the uh, the like button. Get us up there in the algorithms. A tad bit. Uh, please hit the like button there, guys. That would help the channel a hell of a lot, too. It's totally free. And guess what? It sparkles. Totally free to do so. So where's Colin gone? I mean, Colin, Colin was in here and uh, Craig was in here and uh, the minute yeah, they took off. The minute Conda went up nineteen only likes. Come on now, guys, you can do better now. Anyone that's not here, please get us up there. Come on, Hi, get up. Welcome back. How are you doing, lovely? Dre, Dre, I tell them get the, get us up in the, the likes, please. 19 likes. Come on now. That's a bit poor. There's 41 people looking in. Hit the like button. Get us up there. 20 now. 20, come on now. Come on. Oh, come on. Look. Come on. 
Get up, up, yeah, up there. It only helps the channel. It's completely free. And when you hit it, it actually sparkles. Which is a really funny fucking thing. Hi, Pinto. Hey, Pinto. How are you doing, sweetie? I'm. Is that a biograph? I don't know. Yeah. I know Pinto comes so maybe I know now. Um you know, I seen him I see him over. Hey, how are you doing my friend? Um How you doing, Nate? Get us up there in the likes, guys. Come on. It's like the social tell yeah, you're from my bees. I know Thank I you. Cool. Yeah, I know your uh, your little uh, be your boss, AB. <laughs> um, we've been dropping uh, dropping a AB's um second channel in here. Uh, if one of my mods want to drop it again, go ahead, because AB's uh setting up a second channel. And it's called AB Unleashed. Well, damn. What's he gonna do next? Yeah, he's. I I do believe that's in the um that person's in the U.S. Yeah, AB has been in here earlier. I'm annoyed. In it, yeah, in a lie. Uh, if you haven't hit, uh, what's the name? Pinto. Pinto. Hey, Susan, I'm gonna drop down for a little bit. I want to call and see how my brother's doing. Yeah, no be problem. By now. Fine, okay. All right, I will talk to you later. Okay, I'll, I'll probably stay in chat. Okay, I'll talk to you later. It's like button on your way out, honey. I did. All right, so I, I did when I come in. Okay, talk to you later. All right, sweetie. We talk to you soon. Okay, bye. All right, sweetie. Bye. Right, you're stuck with me now. Yeah, pin, pin two. Or am I saying pin two? Pin two, pin two. Yeah, that's one of our AB's people. Um, and that's awesome, too. I mean, it's cool. Try and get us up in the likes a little bit, if you can. Glad to be here to for support. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. <laughs> lovely, lovely said. One well, new hobby said. I'm one of Susan's people, which is correct. Yes. No, um, we have a lot of people here who is um, originally from this channel, okay? But we have a lot of new, a new people like Pinto coming in, which we're going to call you. You're going to be a part of this channel too. Um, even though I know you, you come from me being on that, I, I know, and that's fine, no problem. And that's just the way the things go, I think. Um, you know, we don't have anything bad to say about anybody, uh. Yeah, Pinto. I'm saying to them. I'm saying right, aren't I, Pinto? 
you're welcome to be here. We appreciate it. You know, I've shared with that people before um, who came into my channel and um, I um, wasn't recognizing the fact that they were over here in good in good will and not in bad bad will. It's just as um unfortunately I do get trolled a lot. Thank you, uh lovely yes, you are saying my name and uh, correct oh, oh awesome. Cut your name correct, thank God. Um that is why uh let me read your comments. There's a way to, to flip. A body is welcome here. Well, almost everyone. <laughs> well, there we go. Look, sugar pie, honey. Jill sounds upset after reading back uh, chat. Hope she, uh, she's okay. Yeah, she's fine. She's fine. Sugar pie, honey. Which had nothing to relate to her family and had nothing to relate to anything like that. Um, so why would she be upset? I don't think she would. <coughs> so now, sugar pie, honey, what are you going to say about that? It was not about her family. It was just about people coming in here who were blocked. And they left nasty comments. She sounded upset, that's all. Hmm, no, she's good. She's good. I explained what it was. She understood what it was. I asked her not to call it out. Because here's the thing. We ain't giving anyone any... We ain't talking about anybody who ain't there. It was not about her family. Um, it was not about anything like that. It was about some fools who were on YouTube, which um, we uh, when we do our when we do our backstage, we don't read it out. We don't give it out to the uh, people here in chat because sometimes it's not it's not very healthy to do so. People can write really nasty stuff in there. And she wasn't worried about herself. She was actually worried about what they were saying about me, to be quite honest. And um, I told her, leave it go. Just leave it alone. It's all right. I think most channels get played around. Played around with. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, see, look, I, that's what I said to Jill. Don't call it out. Don't read it out. She was not upset. It wasn't about. It was not about Jill or any of her family members. They just ripped bullshit on my. When I actually booted a person off, Jill didn't even know I booted a person off the back panel. Unfortunately, they left some messages there, and um, of course, it was uh, against me. And um, I told Jill not to read it out, and she did not. So, there. I hope it wasn't anything in Backjack about that would upset her. After all, she is going through a lot of, uh, yeah, we all sugar pie. But let me tell you, sugar pie, it was not about Jill. It was about me. Okay? And that's why I said to her, don't read it out. Leave it alone. You see, we don't read out back chat over here in this channel. Looks like uh, Sugar Susan is uh, not reading out, is not uh, reading it out. Uh, the, uh, yeah, exactly. We're not going to read it out. Yeah, I could read it out right now, but I'm not going to because that's only giving someone. What the torment does? No, we're not doing that.
Thank you. I was worried. That's all. Um, yeah. It was not about, um, it was not about Jill. It was actually about me. They're right nasty bullshit comments, which are quite hurtful, mind you, um, in my back chat, and I asked her not to read it out. Because I think my subscribers wouldn't appreciate that, so, um, that's the kind of model we do over here. Now, sugar pie is right as we can help you with. Susan just explained how uh, many times it was about, not about Jill. It, Jill was um, not upset. I'm glad you are ignoring it, Susan. Yep. See, that's what you got to do. Uh, when people come in, I had to add a troll backstage. And when they come in and they're writing bullshit on my backstage, I ain't going to call it out. Why would you uh, help me? Uh... Okay, blocker. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, Sugar Pie, uh, tell Six to push the ass to box him. The best you can come out with. Yeah. It's one of the jerks, obviously. With the Sugar Pie honey bullshit. But anyway... One well, of my mothers will take care of you. We'll escort you to the front fucking door. You're not welcome in here. Now, sugar boy, what are you going to do about that? When you can't come in here. We're going to make a duplicate count. Do you, do you get a psychosocial? So yeah, there's that. We ain't playing any of these games anymore, we're not. Yep, I'm pretty sure Dolly got to leave him. If someone did, <laughs> how funny is that? Right, uh, Heidi. They come in and talk all sorts of shit. They really do. I mean, they come in and they're just like rambling and rambling. Oh, Jill was upset. No, she was not upset. What was written back, chat? It was about me. So I don't choose to call that out. I asked her not to say anything. Um. So, yeah, we have that. Damn, they're more the bipolar than you, Dre. <laughs> a lot of them are, actually. A lot of them really are. So, Sugar Pie Honey, um, I do believe that you're in uh, my YouTube um, block, li block list right now. You will never come out again. Um, not on this channel, anyways. Sorry. Not playing your games. What a fucking old bitch, an old hag she is. Worried in case that it hurts his Jill when it had nothing got to do with Jill at all. You know, and I was like trying to ignore the fact, you know what I mean? But yeah, you do get people writing in the back chat, and I do boo a lot of people, and I don't let the subscribers know it. I do, I do do that. So yeah, next. <laughs> Don't think there's any next because I mean, we're not selling some boxing over here, so I'm sorry about that. I think Corn Dog sold this boxing the last time he was in here, so I don't think there's any more of that left. 
So if you're coming back to look for that bullshit, you ain't gonna find it. Come in and connect about uh back chat uh Angel is uh terms about I guess someone else with a uh, multiple uh background like some people with multiple personalities swinging on a uh, calendar. Mm. Interesting. Very interesting. See, they come in here. I don't need to call them in. Yeah, I called them in last night, which was probably not the probably not the goodest thing to do, but we ain't calling them in today and my mind ain't gonna mess around today. So now what? There's no suboxone on sale over here. Sorry. I think corn dogs um got rid of that part. Um so yeah, what are you gonna do? Oh look, good night, mates. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely jubbly, I love you. <laughs> new new hobby. Um she's saying good night, mates, everybody. No discount, the bean is here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this a boxing has gone a long time. So what you gonna do? Good night, Dolly. You can't swear that. Oh, but Dolly, you going as well? Oh, she's in good night, mate. Now, we're using the, the word mate over here because there's uh, UK people in here who understand the terminology of the word mate. Doesn't mean to say you're going with a person, it means that you're good friends with a person. So yeah, YouTube can run with that all they like. Next new adventure uh, will be shown as many accounts on IP uh, addresses. Yeah, I, I, do you know what, Sasha? You're probably right. YouTube are cracking down really big time. On these people, you know, it, it, it really, they really are. And it's only a matter of time. To give the moderators a chance to look at where, where they are, they're at, and what they're saying. I mean, all the mods know that, right? So yeah, next next um person who wants to come in, yeah, I don't really care. I mean, she was always a nasty bitch anyway, to be quite honest, in my book. You kind of get tired of it. You get tired of the same trolls at the same time, all the time. Now, I've done everything to block everyone out. Tonight, um, and um, hell, they're coming in a little bit. I had a few people backstage, which I um totally um blocked from streamers because what what they're saying in my back my back panel, I don't want to read out to the um people here on YouTube. Because it's all bullshit. Funny how 
sweet, 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 what, what was her name? It's funny how she knew what was being said. That's amazing. I never said a damn more of what was being said in the backstage, but she could come in and, and say, tell me, tell me that. So obviously she knew, right? She, he, whatever, you know. Today's will be hilarious, other one. Yep, YouTube are cracking down on all these channels, especially the small channels, actually. I mean, if you just read the fine print. Yeah, so it is what it is. I'm going to stand for another couple of minutes and then obviously I'm getting tired. So I'm going to probably go to bed because I got to get up early in the morning. I was just thinking that, Susan. Yep. How would she know what was said backstage, uh, Heidi? Because we never mentioned it and I asked you not to say a word. Um, so how would she know? There you go, bingo. And it wasn't said about Jen. It was about me. And I choose not to read it out. There's, uh, ma there's many ways of blocking and stopping these people from talking crap. There you go. It's a good point, isn't it? It is a good point. No one knew what was written backstage, but then again, she, she, he, or whatever, who's behind that account, came in here and said that. Speaks volumes. And Jill knew it was not about her. She read it. <laughs> she asked me, did I know it was there? I said, yeah, I know. In order, in order to give them uh, something to talk about, I would read it backstage, but I ain't going to do that. And of course, when Jill was on panel, the person came up and they were non-connected device like usual. I just booted them straight away. And they read a few things in back chat, and I booted them. And I read it, and um, I said nothing. So how what? How would us sugar pie and honey know what was even said? Because it's um, people under false accounts. That's what it is. Um. Okay. Isabella, Susan, are you sick? Yeah, you trolled yourself in back uh, chat. That was you. Really, Isabella, where's the proof? You fucking idiot. Get out of my chat. If I'm sick or not, that's none of your goddamn business. So I'll fuck off, okay? One of my beautiful mods. Well, let's call you to the front door, Isabella. Bye, Felicia. Good night, Dolly. You can, honey. You can. You can't see that one. 
Miguel, I'll do it. There you go. There you go. Thank you, uh, Sasha. Appreciate that. I know I, I'm not sick. And even if I was sick, it would be none of your goddamn business. You can see that one. Oh, they had you blocked. Don't worry, the mods will get them. We saw a sachet. Yeah. Isabella. Yeah, we can see you now. Sasha, I can see you. Fucking idiots. Wait, how many hours have I been on? I'll stay for another 20 minutes and then I'm going to get off and, um, well, I got to go to the general practitioner tomorrow, so. Yeah, strange um Sasha they kinda of blocked you. But I've seen it, so and the mod seen it, some other mod seen it. Uh Isabella. Oh, they're not here no more. They're actually in the block list. And I'm not taking anyone out of there. I'm not going to take anyone out of the block list. Oh, the block, yeah, yeah, you think? Yeah. See, that's how they try and get in there. It's what they try and do is block some of my, my, my moderators. Right, I'm sounding really tired. Um, I've taken... My uh, nighttime medications. I gotta go and see the doctor in the morning. Um, I don't know if I'll be on tomorrow. Um, but I will definitely be on the following day. So we're gonna say good night. Um, call it night more or less. I mean the trolls. No matter how many times you try blocking them, it's gonna they're, they're gonna keep coming. You know, it's just the way it is. So yeah. No, I'm sure I'm pretty sure my appointment will be fine, and um, I'll be well. I'm not gonna promise uh tomorrow that I'll be live, but I definitely will say probably Tuesday. It's pretty late here in the UK as well. Um, yeah, I got to rest up because I got to get early, get up early in the morning. And um, I'm going to see you in the next one. Good night, everybody. God bless. Take care. Look after your loved ones. Um, you know, take care.